guys uh, welcome back to my channel um, we're on to next uh, project where we're going to actually like uh, uh, plan on like uh, hanging a ceiling projector uh, but uh, in order to do that uh, we have a couple of things before we can um, hang the ceiling projector because we need an uh, electrical outlet to power the projector uh, and then since it's already a concealed, uh, I mean, it's gonna be a concealed wiring. We're gonna fish wire from, uh, we have an outlet here, that's gonna be the source, and it's gonna be uh, fishing wire from there all the way up to the ceiling, and then we should be able to act with that. So without any further ado, let's exactly get into the project. So this is the power outlet that we're gonna actually get the source from, and then it's going up right there, and then, we are going to probably have the I already put a hole in there to mark it up this is basically my center where I'm going to have my outlet so the hole is like basically uh, on the right next to the stud so it's like about I should say like an inch from the stud on the right so we're going to probably use that so we need to actually make a cut and then create the uh, create the uh, power outlet here. So this is the outlet that I, I just opened it up, and now um, using this outlet, uh, we're going to power the the ceiling um, outlet. So we're going to use the fishing tool. So this is the the steel fish tape I bought it in um, Lowe's. Uh, so we're going to actually use this. And I know a spot in the attic where I'm going to actually like use that, I mean use this end of the steel tape to put it in. And it'll come down here, then I got to actually fish it and try to actually get it out from this box. Once we get that out, uh, then we will actually use the same fishing uh, tape and then we will actually like uh, tape the, the, uh, the electrical wire that is going to go from here up and in the attic to the ceiling. So we're going to actually use that. Now we are up in the attic, uh, I'm going to use the fishing tape uh, tool to uh, send it through and then try to actually like fish it to the, uh, to the bottom where we have the um, power outlet. So now we are done with the uh, attic and we are going down and getting to see uh, if the tape is down there and which we see already it's there and we are going to actually tie the wire back in. So now you see that um, the wires are already like uh, taped in to the fish tape tool and uh, we're ready to actually pull it back. So I'm going to go up in the attic and then pull it back. So once we pull this, uh, we can probably have the wire from the uh, outlet where we're going to get the power from and then uh, it can be added to the ceiling outlet. So we are using a, a drywall saw or a utility knife to make a slot uh, into the ceiling drywall so that the electrical box can fit into the ceiling. So we made the cut and then uh, we're going to actually see, I mean it's just right right here is the stud. We're going to see if we have the already fish, fished wire from the attic and I actually put it right next to it so I'm going to actually try to actually find it. It's actually on the other side. Alright, I think I got it. Oh, there's the wire. Alright, so we have most of the stuff done. The cut is perfect. I think the stud is right there, so we can probably mount this. I pull the wires in to the box, so it should fit perfectly, I think. Oh yeah, this. 
Yep. So on the brass side, we're gonna actually have the black, which is the power. So I mean, before doing any of these, make sure that you don't have power. I already tested it. So you gotta make sure that you don't have any power before you do any of this electrical stuff. When you're touching this black, that's the hot. The white is the, uh, the ground. And then there's neural. So on the brass side, I'm gonna have to use the black. So you should put it like that. And then you can tighten it. So there you go. It's all there. I'm using two because I think they're, I'm putting like a junction box up there. So I'm gonna have to use both of these up here. like a pair of pliers to put it in there we go. I already made I mean the easier way to do this is like you know uh, make a loop so that so that it actually ties in so on the white side so the brass side we got the black on the white side I got the the white wire, so which is the uh, the ground wire. So make sure that this is fully tight because any loose wires uh, may cause like a uh, spark or maybe even fire. So also, just a disclaimer. I mean, if you're doing wiring, try to try to get stick to the code. Uh, I mean, this is like I mean, I'm trying to trying to do what I can with. Uh, with what I know with the code, but uh, if you're doing it, try to act like, I mean, uh, stick to the electrical code. Um, so this last one is we still need to do the neutral wire. Lock my cutter, just a sec. So, that's the cutter, so, for all these, I have two, two screws, so I can actually put them in. For this one, I only have one green, can see that in the video so the green one it's only one so I'm gonna use a special type of uh, um, special type of right there is that uh, so we got to screw it in a little bit because since I want to use only one it's gonna be a little tight there Now I'm using this special wing net. See a hole in there, so you, it goes in there. Just a sec. We put it in. I'm just actually like tightening back all in. Should be good. So now I don't have the power. I have to actually hook the the other side in. Once I have that, then we can check the outlet so everything's done now I have to like do the finishing touch putting the face plate on and it should be all set so since now we have the uh, the cable that's connected uh, from the attic so this is going to be like adding the power source from the attic to this and then we should be we should be getting the power to the um, to the ceiling outlet that we're going to add so let me get that so now we're doing the white And then the neutral and then the black so this is white so that's the first one okay so now everything is in so we have the faceplate and everything we 
got the other end connected also. So I'm gonna actually test with my multimeter. See if we get like 120 volts. Um, so if you look at the reading, it should say 120. That's 120 AC, so that's good. So we are getting the power. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, to hang the ceiling projector, which is uh, comparatively easy. Um, rather than like doing the, the fishing of the wire, it took a longer time. So we got the, um, the mount for the ceiling projector. So uh, let's get started on that. Hi guys, um, so today we got the Mankyo uh, projector ceiling mount uh, from Amazon. So I already opened this up and then like um, picked at it. So this is the mount. So here's where the projector is gonna go. And then uh, this is gonna mount on the ceiling and then it'll screw it in here. So we need to make four, um, four drills on the ceiling and then mount this up on the ceiling and then put it up next to the um, next to the uh, power point up there. So I marked four positions to drill a hole for mounting the base. Now I'm hammering the wing nets on the holes I drilled. So now we have all the four screws mounted. Should be good, tight enough. Okay, so since we got the mount, now I got the um, the other part of the mount uh, fixed in the projector. So now it's gonna hold fine. So we also have the power cord going through the, uh, the mount here. And all you're gonna do is uh, just mount it back. So let's see if it works. 